everyone. Today I'm bringing you five ways to use a boost pedal in the wrong way, as an under boost. Now you might recognize the boost pedal as something that gives you more signal, to boost that guitar signal for a solo or to give you more gain into another pedal or some kind of way of making your signal more. But I think it's rather creative to use the boost pedal to give you something less. For this video, I'm using the Rebel Series Adrenaline Booster from G-Lab. They sent me the pedal and they've sponsored this video. On to the first creative way to use a boost pedal as an under boost. Number one is use your boost pedal as an underdrive to reduce the gain going into your drive pedals. Here's the boost pedal um, at Unity Gain. So when I engage the pedal, the gain doesn't change. It doesn't get louder or quieter. Have a listen. Here's the pedal off. Be a little bit louder, but not much. There's not much difference. So we're not really doing much to the tone. However, if I kick in the Messiah drive and then reduce the volume going into the Messiah drive, turn the pedal off first. Oops. Then kick in the boost pedal. basically doing is rolling off the volume going into the pedal so you could do that with the guitar but I like to do it with my foot or as I'm doing in this video with my finger because I don't really like to mess with the volume much on my guitar let's go to number two number two is use the boost pedal to reduce the gain coming from your humbucker equipped guitar, such as this Maybach Lester. Now I've set the Messiah drive up roughly for the telly. When I play this, it's gonna sound a bit mushy. Rather mushy, so let's engage this. There we go. Number three is kind of cheating because it's not that perfect, but it is a one and I'm trying to get to five, okay? So number three is use it as a stutter pedal by turning the volume all the way down, therefore the pedal is off even when you engage it. So here's the signal. Off, and then. go. Definitely cheating, but um, that was three so far. Sorry. I've just had a thought you could use it as a stage mute. While I'm cheating, it, it fills a space on the board, all right? So fills a space on the board, use it as a mute, use it as a stutter. That's three cheats equal one correct one. Let's move on to number four. Sorry. Number four of not using a boost pedal to boost solos and stuff like that is use it as an EQ pedal for dummies. Now, the adrenaline booster has got a tone which is currently off, meaning it's not doing anything. And if you engage it, it does a little bump on some sort of mid frequencies. Why I think this is useful and not just using an EQ pedal is looking at like a graphic EQ like the Boss G7 for example, um, it could confuse some people. 
and it has confused me in my beginning days of guitar and I, I kept well away from a graphic EQ pedal because I didn't know what they did and I didn't know which frequencies would affect the guitar in a nice way. And generally with boost pedals being built for guitars, the tone knobs on them, or the, at least the whatever the tone part of it is, the, the EQ part, is based around the guitar. So I think that the Adrenaline Booster features a really nice little tone um, shaping ability that is specifically for the guitar. So it just makes it sound nicer and, and like it sounds a bit dead when it's not there. So this is off. Sounds all right. It just brings it to life like some sort of sonic super pedal. That's number five, four, where am I? This one is super useful and it's already around the internet and on YouTube, but I have to include it on this list because it saved my bacon. This is the Marshall Studio Vintage 20, which is a plexi style amp, and it's a non-master volume amp, meaning that to get some crunchy tones out of it, you really got to boost these high treble and normal channels to get into that gain territory. However, even on five watt mode, on the low mode, it is immensely loud. I will attempt to show you. which sounds awesome, but is not always for everybody because it's so loud. So, um, there's the boost pedal right there. It's in the effects loop of the Marshall and engaging it by turning the light on. Uh, I should point out, by the way, that this always has a light on. So when it's dim like that, it means it's there it's saying hello, but it's not engaged. And then when it's got the light on super bright, it means it's really, really there, which you may or may not like. I'm not a massive fan of that. Um, and now we've got a more usable tone. Yeah, so it's now gone from super insanely loud to loud. Put the old boost pedal in your effects loop, turn the volume down, turn the gain. You could even use that to actually with the tone. I haven't done it, but you can use it to tone shape further by um, bringing that out. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Sounds good. Next one. Is there a next one? Is that the end of the list? I don't know. I don't do list videos very often. Here's, here's maybe another one. And a bonus one, which is kind of similar to number one, but not at all in any way really, is that you can use it to shape the tones of fuzz pedals, which you know I enjoy. And I've just got this Field Marshall from Thorpe FX. And um, even though it sounds great without anything in it, it's, it's real, super cheesy. <laughs> Just checking, I didn't, no, I didn't overload the signal then, but it's it's a great pedal. I've had like 10 minutes with it and I'm having a lot of fun, but I, I like to complicate things. So as a bonus one, um, I can use this pedal to get another tone out of it by say dropping the gain down. So if I'm getting this rough, real rough fuzz. <laughs> Fuzz, but not so much fuzz. Marshall is a really, really cheesy, really full, grunty fuzz pedal, 
but by by engaging the the um, the booster. Whoa! Sorry, I'm so, I'm so I'm so excited by fuzz pedals that I'm losing my my brains. Um, by engaging the booster pedal as an underdrive on a fuzz, it um, it gives you more tones out of a fuzz pedal. Who's going to argue with that? So that's it. That's around about five ways to use a boost pedal as an under boost or at least not use it to boost for a solo which is what i always used to boost used boost pedals for in the past so i'd be like more guitar and then it just blah, and that wasn't always useful so you know sometimes don't tell anyone but sometimes less is more and um yeah i'm under boosting stuff a lot from now on so that's going to stay there for a while if you want one you can check out the links in the video description down below where i'm using all this stuff and um, you'll see much more from the field marshal very soon i've just got it today so um exciting 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 thanks for watching there are more videos bouncing around your screen right now featuring me playing guitars and doing all sorts of guitar based stuff otherwise um you know, have a great day and um, hope to see you soon. Bye. Oh, also, you know, uh, don't forget to.